right over in there, those bones that I discovered when we first got here. Um, I, I made a point of saying that there's never a skull. I did, however, find the bottom half of it. This is an intact jawbone. I'm guessing that's, uh, we're looking at the teeth and the shape of it. Look, there's still meat on that. This is a pronghorn sheep. It's a guess. It's not a cow. <laughs> oh! That's the only thing holding it together is that meat. That's a pretty cool find. Ashlyn's being nice and boiling us some water for breakfast and built a fire. Yeah. Not so Morning, Murphy. Morning. Rough night. Yeah. You still cold? <laughs> Do you have a heavier jacket than that? That's all you brought? <laughs> well, I'm wearing a sweater underneath this, but it's still freezing. Huh. I've got a t-shirt. I would just like put all my clothes on. <laughs> I like, I have a t-shirt and this thermal shirt. I'm trying to think if I have anything you could wear. Just put all your shirts on. I didn't bring a whole lot myself. Oh, oh yeah? <laughs> That's my phone thing. <laughs> Let's see what the temperature is here. See that? 42.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Warmer in the car. <laughs> so breakfast this morning. Biscuits and gravy. Both Murphy and I agree that these little packs of Mountain House meals I chose this one because it had a higher a higher calorie content. The more calories you consume out here, the warmer you are. But we both agree that these meals are not enough. That's why we were eating at 2 in the morning, snacking on our other stuff. I'm actually looking forward to the ramen for lunch. It just sounds so comforting. Ramen's a really good backpacking, camping, easy-to-make meal. Anyway... And take Ashland's boiling water and throw it into this. Let's see, open the package, remove the moisture, oxygen absorber. Carefully add three-fourths cup boiling water. Stir carefully and close zipper. After four minutes, stir again. That's optional. <coughs> if it says optional, do it anyway. And let stand eight to nine minutes. Stir and enjoy right out of the pouch. So we're looking at maybe 12, 13 minutes total. Okay, so I got some of Ashland's boiling water. This is what the biscuits and gravy looks like pre-water. As Murphy just said, he used less water than it recommended because he didn't want biscuits and gravy soup. <laughs> because honestly, that happens a lot with these meals. You add what it says and it comes out really soupy. says to stir it, but I'm just going to seal it and mush it around. Huh? I still got a milkshake if anybody wants it. <laughs> I should mind take you off on that. Yeah, I was going to say maybe Murphy will eat it. Yeah, it's just uh, like a a weird test. I think I just didn't shake it up enough. I think if you put it like in like a water bottle or something first, and then shook it in the bottle. I'm not gonna stir this like it says. I'm gonna just let it sit for like 12 minutes. Ooh, that's hot. Here, warm your hands. <laughs> Probably. I think you put out the whole fire. <coughs> you guys ever get home from camping and feel like you've been smoking 10 packs of cigarettes? <laughs> Speaking of that, I was at the gas station um, just a couple days ago, and I noticed on the bottom row of cigarettes, 
I don't smoke obviously, but I still noticed it. They had a preservative and chemical free alternative cigarette, just tobacco. Oh, the Native American stuff or whatever? It's I don't know what it was, but it's a healthy alternative to smoking. <laughs> I thought that was retarded. <laughs> it doesn't have all the chemicals. Yes, but it will still kill you. <laughs> if, if people don't know by now that smoking will kill them, they're idiots. Inhaling anything that's burnt <laughs> probably causes cancer. Yeah, like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, even eating burnt chicken can cause cancer. So yeah, that's true. I Carcinogens. Burnt organics in general. Yeah, yeah, my soup is crunchy. <laughs> Murphy's suggesting I stir this anyway because his is kind of crunchy in places. Sorry, dude, I just want to see. It looks like baby food. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been eating? It smells like baby food. I need to get a fork. These are, uh, these little blue ones I got. Yeah. These are, f it was like five bucks for four of these at Walmart. Oh, really? Yeah. It's not the kind a lot of people use, and they probably melt easy. Yeah. But well, I had one that, that was made, I don't know what it was made out of, but it was like, it was a spoon on one side, and the other side it was a fork. Yeah. It had like the serrated edge on it. Uh-huh. I've seen those. It's my favorite. It was awesome. Did you lose it? It's in the back of the truck, and I can't remember to grab Oh, your truck? It. Yeah, because it's in a, uh, a little mess kit that I haven't cleaned since last year. Yeah. So it's got like potato soup in it. <laughs> Gross. Might as well get a new one, dude. Yeah. All right, let's stir this. Looks very soupy. Oh, that's that's nice and thick though. I'm looking forward to this. It's sort of like mashed potatoes consistency. While we're waiting for the last few minutes of my breakfast to be ready. There's a little breeze. I hope you can hear me. Um, I figure if I found that jawbone, maybe I can find that skull. I'd rather have that than a jawbone. And I'm seeing some white over this way that might be more scattered bones. Well, it's not bones, it's shot up trash from who knows how long ago. Just proof that just because there's not shooting allowed, there's no shooting allowed, doesn't mean people won't do it. This is cool though. Cactus. It's kind of all by itself. I haven't seen any other. Imagine sitting on that. Look at those things. I didn't see a skull, but I did scare a little jackrabbit. Ashlyn scared one this morning. You don't have to walk far to spot them out here. They're multiplying and there's no way to regulate them because you can't shoot up here. So. So beautiful out here. It's such a beautiful morning. The desert is highly underappreciated. It's a place to camp. In the summer, I wouldn't. It's too hot. It's misery out here. It's nice right now. How's the milkshake? Tastes like vanilla. Is it crunchy? No. <laughs> Less powdery. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Uh, my breakfast should be ready. I'm starving. That was delicious, but not enough. I could have eaten three times that much. Burn, hikers, burn. <laughs> They look so happy to be dying.
weird steam's coming out. Maybe it's not. Boy. For some reason the hikers themselves aren't burning. <laughs> it's because of their positive attitudes. <laughs> <laughs> Keep smiling. You'll be just fine. Oh, there they went. <laughs> Man, that sucker burned. <laughs> Just burst into flames. I want more food. That's not cool, man. No. Give me that little bit. That's like a sample. <laughs> but that's one of my favorites now. I like that better, way better than the scrambled eggs with sausage. Ooh. Guess what just came out? Na 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 na. Nice. Just to burn. Is that steam coming off your There's steam coming off your tent? Oh, there yeah. is. There's steam coming off my tent. Yeah, I can see it kind of. It's just your tent too. Weird. Yeah, this thing held up pretty well in the rain. Look at all this pooling of water on my tarp. <laughs> really muddy, wet pools. <clears throat> Especially over here. And I had no idea when it was raining last night that that was happening because that was nice and dry in there. So kudos to this tent for that. Just need something I can sit up in. Let's go for a little hike, see what we can spot. Jackrabbits running through here as I move through. No matter how quietly I walk. They can disappear so incredibly fast. See them for an instant and then they're just gone into the sagebrush. The easiest time to spot them is in the winter when this is covered in snow. And they don't have the cover that they usually do. And the snow makes a great, I guess, reflector. Really easy to see where they're running. But not in this stuff. You really can't see them for a few feet maybe and they're just gone hard to even catch them on video I'm curious what these wooden poles down here are just sitting out here by themselves right over there So check that out. Really wish you could smell this sagebrush after a rainstorm. It's amazing. It's a nice, sweet, fragrant smell. Kind of like a an aspen forest after a rainstorm. It's a similar smell. If you know what that smells like. Oh, this is some kind of fence line. That's what those wooden poles are. And all my time coming out here, I've never seen this. This looks brand new. This barbed wire fence runs all the way up. I guess over there is 
private land now. I have no idea. Which is a shame. This used to all be open. So the poles that I saw were just part of the fence up here. Not only do we have the view, it's like the crows have been hanging out on this. Not only do we have the fence poles here, but we also have the reel of barbed wire still sitting there. This is new. It's not a. It's not been here too long. Huh. I was hoping to spot some wildlife out here. I did see a jackrabbit, but I don't think I got that on camera. It's mostly what we would see. The pronghorn sheep or pronghorn deer. Calling them sheep. Pronghorn deer. Um, you don't see them too often out here. These are what I call bunny super highways. These trails that run through the sagebrush formed by jackrabbits running over them over and over again. They're all through this. Creatures of habit. They still got the fire going. <laughs> One problem Ashlyn had with his tent was uh, as he moved around because it has no floor, he was getting dirt all over himself while he slept. Hard to believe these were what the uh, government issued troops in Vietnam because they certainly don't seem adequate but that was that was the time they lived in it was different than you know this <laughs> two pounds nine ounces waterproof and then this canvas thing that weighs 25 pounds makes you appreciate even more what soldiers who fought in Vietnam endured and other wars of course um, my father-in-law was in Vietnam and that's who I think of when I see things like this he did two tours and he won't talk about it and I don't blame him hey Ash there's a spoon and a knife attached to your tent Breeze is picking up. It's getting cloudy. Still got it going, huh? Yeah, we're running out of fuel there. Oh, you're finding plenty, it seems like. Oh, you burned your bench. Have you ever seen what these do in a fire? Uh -uh. This is really cool. Watch. Remember this, Moose? Yeah. other than crack. Just give it a second. Whoa! They sort of melt. That's creepy. <laughs> it's so weird. I guess they are biodegradable. Yeah, they're just clay. I didn't know clay melted. That kind does. When I was in pottery, the clay we used just exploded if you didn't make it right. <laughs> it had like air bubbles in it. Is that the voice of experience? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mine didn't explode. Someone else exploded. And, well, someone else is, not someone else. Exploded. <laughs> make sure you say it right. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this glass. Boom. <laughs> but, uh, and it destroyed mine because mine was next to it. So like I got I got a hundred percent on it though. Because yeah. if if yours breaks because of someone else's, you get a hundred percent. Oh, nice. Yeah. You should just rig whoever else is <laughs> next to yours. Put a firecracker in one of them. Yeah. Or just puts it in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Dense wood. Yeah, it is. Like, I bet that doesn't burn well. That looks like oak. Yeah. Like the crap in our yard. And that's what you do with the trash in your car when you're camping. Serious heat. Where is Murphy? He's way over there. At the metal detector. It's turned out to be a really nice day. I'd say it's in the upper 50s right now. Wouldn't you? Yeah. So Murphy's up here on top of the hill with the metal detector and has been for some time. Ash and I are going to go see if we found anything interesting besides bullet shells which are everywhere here. But there's no shooting allowed so they must have fallen from an airplane or something. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Anything good? A lot of bullet shells. <laughs> I only had a dig for one thing and it was a bullet shell. Uh, I found a piece of metal. Yeah. A piece of metal, weird. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's never a skull. I'm telling you. It's the skull aliens. They land and they take the skull. Poachers. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it moved, but maybe it didn't. It kind of stands out though, doesn't it? Huh? Huh? It's what? If you move, it looks different. Oh, so it's not moving, we are. Because <laughs> I went over there and I could barely see it, and it looked like it kind of turned. Okay. I, it's probably nothing, it's probably a stupid sagebrush. Bush. <laughs> it turns out it was just a shadow of the bush. Ashland's way out there. Way out there. <laughs> Can't quite see what I'm filming because the sun is in my face, but I have no idea. So much sagebrush, miles of it all the way to California that way. Murphy just scared up a little jackrabbit right as soon as I stopped recording. The thing took off over this way. Let's see if we can figure out where he went. It wasn't very big and he didn't run very fast actually. Like he didn't quite know what to do with us. Here's a piece of fence. Looks like this used to run right through here. This fence. Made a matter. It runs right through there. Ashley made his way back. He's sitting in the car. Murphy's still back there at the uh, metal detector. desert's got its own beauty. It's amazing in its own way. And to think less than 50 miles that way is thick forest. One thing I love about Utah is that easy to go from desert to forest.
What I love about this is it's so open. Murphy's over there with the metal detector. Ashland's over there near the camp, kind of exploring and checking stuff out. And I'm kind of here doing my own thing. And uh, everybody can just come out here and have their own space and do their own thing. And it's not like anything in the city or at home. It's a very freeing feeling and it's exciting to explore something you've never seen before. Another thought. Nothing matters out here like work, stress, problems at home, uh, problems abroad, politics, sexual orientation. None of it matters. None of it exists out here. I don't have to define myself by any any of society's standards. I just look around out here and this is all I see and this is all I hear. This is where my spirit feels renewed. I feel like my batteries are recharged, so to speak. My whole psyche is reset to a better place by being out in nature, away from the BS that society constantly bombards us with on TV, on the radio, and media, people's opinions constantly being thrown at you and feeling pressured to feel the same way about things that everybody else does is just plain bullshit. All that matters in the end is family. All that matters in the end is spending time together doing simple, beautiful things. Not what society says. Not what the media feeds you day after day after day. I really get tired of it. I get angry about it. There was an earthquake in Nepal today. Historical markers were completely, landmarks were completely destroyed. Mount Everest even took a hit. There are people suffering, hundreds are dead. And I turn on the TV and the top story is, should gay marriage be legalized or not? And that's where we're backwards, my friends. We think that's a top story. We think that's headline news. And there are people suffering on the other side of the planet. We just kind of mention it. We just kind of think about it. Oh, glad that's not me. Well, one day it could be us. Then how important will your sexual orientation be? How important will your family be? Which things will matter to you the most? These are the thoughts that come to me when I get away from all that crap and my head is clear and I see my two oldest boys over there becoming men while well, they are men. And the legacy I want to leave when I'm dead and gone. This land was here long before I was. It'll be here long after I am if everybody takes care of it. I'll get off my soapbox now. My goal, my intent isn't to offend anyone or step on anyone's toes. I'm not about being politically correct or kissing any certain group's butt. I'm just about saying we need to focus as a society on what's truly important, not on what the media tells us is important. Somewhere along the line, we've lost our way. And right now, all that matters is this. What we should do with yours, man. So Ashlyn's pissed off all these ants. Rip up our 
because he was using the metal detector and he found this saw blade buried in the anthill. They had built their home over the top of it. These red ants, I grew up around them, they will bite. They climb up your legs and they bite hard. I knew a girl in sixth grade that used to eat them to get attention. Good find, Ash. It wasn't a bullet shell. Nope. <laughs> Finally, we found something almost useful, but way more useful to the ants. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so Murphy's over here taking his tent down, and I think I'm going to do the same. We're not leaving yet, but get it out of the way so when it is time to go after we eat lunch, we can just go. Meanwhile, Ashlyn's looking for more tools. How was that new sleep pad? What? How was that new sleep pad? Comfortable. What kind is it? It's a Thermarest Pro Lite. Okay. Oh, that's that's nice and thick. Cool. So while my water's heating up for my ramen, Ashlyn's taking down his tent. My tent's gone. Oh, back up here. My tent's down. Murphy's tent's down. More storm clouds rolling in. What an amazing view. Never underestimate the amazing versatility of the ramen noodle. Right? <laughs> it makes a really good, easy meal to make on the trail. Not that we're on the trail, but camping anyway. Murphy's heating up his water for his sweet and sour chicken or pork? Pork. Sweet and sour pork. He's using the, our, this used to be my stove. I gave it to Ashlyn because I just didn't need something that big anymore. But uh, his water is almost boiling. 
We'll see. Murphy's figured out that three-fourths cup in uh, Mountain House meal means half a cup. Yeah. Unless you like soup. Right? Yeah. Ashton's almost done packing up. He was saying that he actually slept with a wolf spider last night. So hopefully he didn't get bit. So far, he hasn't complained of it. But apparently there's a big ugly spider in his tent when he took it down. Same deal. Stir it in a couple of minutes and then let it sit. Yeah. Better go check my wire. It's hot. <laughs> Oh, he did? Cool. The wind is really picking up. The storm is moving in. We just want to eat and pretty much take off, I think. There we go. There we go. That's what I remember. So I got the fleets back on. It's starting to rain. It's a race against the thunderheads that are headed this way and my ramen noodles that I'll probably be eating in the car. Murphy's in the car eating his sweet and sour pork. This just right on time. having a heck of a time boiling. Did you eat lunch? Not yet. Okay, so I'm not the only one. <laughs> We're just about cleaned up. Some food in our bellies and then it's time to head down the road to a gas station and get a huge Pepsi because I'm dying for some sugar and caffeine. <laughs> I need something to kind of pick me up for the drive home. We have about an hour to Ashland's house and then another 45 minutes back home for me and Murphy. So a couple hours worth of driving with the stop at the gas station for drinks. It's been a fantastic trip though. I really enjoyed this, rain or not. Okay, that's looking good. Look at those ramen. Look, those ramen? Is that plural? I don't know. Look at that ramen. Alright, that's about as done as it's going to get for my taste because that wind is kicking up and I'm getting pelted with rain. I'm going to sit in the car and eat this. And then we'll pack up the little bit that's left to get out of here. What? It's what? Entree. Yeah, that means it's the main course. What's the other thing I'm thinking of? Then? Sides? <laughs> I don't know. Well, what's the word? I don't know. Was it good? Have you tried it? Or are you just still waiting? I tasted waiting? it when I stirred it and it was pretty good. But I um, still has a few minutes. There's yeah. something unappetizing about things packaged this way. Yeah. yeah. Ashland's having an MRE mystery ready to eat <laughs> because he has no idea what's in this one. <laughs> And I'm just going to chow my ramen. I don't know what's got. There's my ramen. Murphy's done with his sweet and sour pork. And Ashlyn's mystery food is? It's like beans and noodles and stuff. <laughs> it's beans and noodles and stuff casserole. Yep. <laughs> no, there's corn in there too. And corn. So, it's minced up hot dogs, I guess. <laughs> Well, it's been a fantastic camp. We had a great time. As you can see, the uh, rainy part of the storm blew that way, and the so-so part of the storm is back there. And above us, blue sky. So the weather has been very fickle, but I like that. I like that we didn't know what to expect. <laughs> and I like that it didn't rain the whole time. So, I'm gonna use the little boys room once again before we leave and then we'll bid the West Desert a fond farewell until the next time we manage to come out here well here's the view of our campsite fires out tents are gone it's like we were never here we're ready to go 
before the other half of the storm gets here. That's headed this way. We seem to be in a circle of calm. We're in the eye of the storm. I, man, I can't talk. Anyway, we're headed that way. <laughs> that direction is Utah Valley, and then further north, Salt Lake City, where Ashland lives, and then further north, the Ogden area where I live. It's been a fantastic adventure. I'm Utah Steve for Utah Outdoor Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, make suggestions, anything you think that you'd like to see in my videos, I'd surely appreciate it. I'm always looking for new ideas. So we will see you next time. All the jewels of all the idiots back so badly You scream, give me what I've always missed Give me a good time But if you look into your mirror You'll see that nobody Has ever ripped you off its own It's all I ever really need So throw us some flowers And we'll give you some songs and sunshine And if you give me an hour I'll show you how you feel Did it, did it Solid.